It's that time of year again, and today I'm going to show you some really cool back-to-school hacks. If your zip breaks on your pencil case, you can take a paper clip and thread that onto your zipper to use as a handle. If you link a few paper clips together like this to make a chain, you can use them to draw a circle. Take two pens, put one in the end like this, then depending how big you want the circle, you can select what points you put the other pen in. Then pivot the second pen around the first to draw yourself a circle. And you can use different paper clips for different circle sizes. If you need some scissors but haven't got any, you can take a couple of plastic rulers, hold them like this to give you some DIY makeshift scissors. Perfect for cutting paper or thin card. I even used them to cut out this circle we drew earlier. Pretty cool, huh? You can use a drill to make small holes every centimetre up your ruler to help you draw circles too. I stopped when I got to the 10 centimetre point. And remember to put one on the zero line too. We now have a quick and simple way to draw circles of various sizes. Push a pen or drawing pin through the zero hole and select the radius of the circle you want to draw. This makes it super easy. If you need to staple some papers together, but you've run out of staples, and maybe you haven't got any paper clips, you can make a small diagonal slice in your papers, like this. Fold the corners over, and tuck them through the hole, like this. Fold it all flat, and your pages are now crimped firmly together. It is pretty strong, and it looks really cool too. You can use a red paper clip to leave a special message for a loved one. Hold the paper clip like this, and bend it around like this. Make sure this part is at the back. Then twist it over to this side, and it should look like this. Hook it over the top of a loved one's papers, to leave them a romantic love heart. Instead of wasting scraps of paper, you can make your own whiteboard by putting a piece of paper or card inside of a plastic wallet. Just use dry wipe marker pens and you're good to go. You can doodle or make whatever notes you want to, then just wipe them out with paper. Quick and easy to remove the evidence. If you're bored, you can take a couple of colouring pens and try writing or drawing with the two tips close together. If you like, you can use some putty to hold them firm. And see what you get. You can get creative and start designing. You can use a pen to open up a staple if you need to add or remove pages. If you haven't got anything to collect your pencil shavings when you're sharpening your pencil, you can remove the lid from an old Tic Tacs container, sit the sharpener inside, and fix it in place with hot glue. Once it's set, you can clip it back together and use the sharpener. If you want to smuggle in some bubblegum roll, you can take it out of the box, uncoil it slightly or just remove the centre, and fit it inside a tape dispenser. Now you can keep it in plain view on your desk 
and the chances are no one will notice. Sneaky, huh? If you want to be notified every time I launch a new video, make sure you click the notification bell by the subscribe button. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.